Good morning to one and all. My name is Dave. I'm carrying on searching and today I'm with Noble Pursuits again. Out on a group dig and look, look at it. Lovely little sunrise there. Beautiful. What a beautiful morning. A little bit snowy. It's not going too, too uh, far into the ground. It's only on the surface. So it's not too bad. But anyway, I've got my first little signal and I think I've got my first little proper little find. So I'm going to spin you around and we'll take a look together. Okay, there's Nigel. He's been pimped up, look. Look at that. I've treated you, Nigel, so it is tradition. If I treat you, you've got to treat me with some nice finds. Well, it is in my book, anyway. And look look what Father Christmas brought me. A nice new spade. Ooh. Anyway, here's my first find, and look. Look what we got. Look. <laughs> Can't be bad. A little car. That's not a bad little start, is it? Nice one. Anyway, do I go up the hill or down to where the hollow is? Where the sunrise is coming up? I think I'll try the sunrise first. Next signal. 34 on the knocks. Look at it. It's a banging, banging tone. It's kind of roundish, lots of roundness. And was that copper or brass or something? I don't know. It's a big one of them. I've always wanted one of them. Whatever it is. Anyway, on to the next. Let's see if we can find some coins. Here's the scene, look. I think it's going to snow. There's a snow rainbow. Oh dear. I'm going to get caught in a snowstorm. Can you believe it? Anyway, I've got a signal here. 13, 14. Quite deep, so um, I'm going to go for it. Let's see what it is. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I was right to dig it. Look, look, look. Look what I found. Cute little pistol ball. Oh, yes. Proper bit of history. Oh. Oh, Nigel. I'm glad I uh, treated you at Christmas. And that, that spade there, that Spartan. Oh, it, go, it goes through like a, like a knife through butter. Anyway. Onward into the blizzard, I think. Okay, Nigel, with his new little decoration, his snakeskin, has found me another target here. It's in that plug. A solid 18. Just in there. Oh. Close close, even closer still I can see something nice <gasps> I have my first coin oh, look at the patina on that oh, it's my favourite it's Queen Victoria oh yes what a stunning find and what condition look at that what year is that? I'll have to put my glasses on to see OK, I'm back. I just had a look at it. Can you see it there in the sunshine? Hang on. Let me get it. 1862. Absolute perler. I think that's my best Vicky coin I've ever found. Let's get... Oh, look at that in the sun. There we are. How's that? Look at that. What a cracking coin to get me first coin. Oh, Nigel's paying me back already. Keep it up, Nigel. Keep it up. I've got another signal. Nigel has found me something. It's coming up around 14. Deep, a little bit scratchy. But uh, worth a dig. Worth a dig. And look. Look, look, look. What have I got? I think I've got another spindle ball. Oh. What a little cracker. How about that? Oh. Cracking find. Nice one. I'll have a little go in this field and try for some more. I'm going to run down there and across the back and we'll see if there's anything else. Had my lunch now. Had a little bit of a refresh and it got there's a 
maize stubble field and it goes all the way over that brow as well. So I'm going to do, I've just come round this little bit, got to it and I've got my first crisp proper signal. Obviously we'll buy a little bit of an occupation. Now it's in a little bit of a mud clod. So let's open it together. 24, 25 is the signal. Alright, now it's in there. Now look, I'm sure I can see. Am I deluding myself? A little edge. Look at me, I'm getting all mucky now. I thought I saw something. And it, ah, now. Now look. Let's zoom in close. Look. What have we got? Oh, I'm not so sure it's a coin now, you know, but it feels sort of round. Let's clear it off. The gunk. I think we have a coin. But what do we have? Gosh. No, it's going to take a little while to clean that one up, isn't it? What have we got? Is it something proper old? Or just a teeny bit old? Do you know what? I've got a funny feeling that's mega old. The feel of it. And is that Britannia? Oh my, oh my word, look. Look, look at Britannia, the way she's facing. That is seriously old. And have we got a date underneath it? But, oh, that is a, absolutely... Superb. Oh, look at the detail. Look at that. Oh, oh that isn't George the... Is that a George the Third? Yeah, look, th there's the three. George the Third. What an absolutely cracking condition coin. What's the date there? Is that 17 something? Oh, please, come on. I'm going to wash it up a little bit more and uh, get my little magnifier out. I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Look at that. That is without doubt the best ever George the Third coin with proper writing on it. And I'm sure that, I'm sure it's got a date of 17 something underneath there. I'll clean it up better when I get home, but what an absolutely stonking find. I will. Is that. Hang on. Is that a little bit blurred? No, that's better. Was that blurred then for you? It's a little bit, a little bit dark, isn't it? Really for zooming in and zooming out. Anyway, well done, Nigel. I'm very, very pleased with that. We shall carry on searching. Now it's all starting to happen. Now a banging 19 signal. Well, I say a banging 19 signal. It wasn't actually that strong. But look, 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 look. I've got another coin. Oh. I think this is a bit more modern, isn't it? Or is it? Oh, it's a half penny. A half penny. I can't see the date on that. Can you? 19, is it? Yes, look, it's a King George V. Good day to you, sir. What a pleasure to make your acquaintance today. Very nice. Very nice. Show me where the rest of your friends are. It was only just there where I got that other coin, so this area is definitely going to get a good combing now. I'm here for the duration now, see if I can get some more. See you soon, hopefully. Next target, and I've just thrown it away. The world's tiniest, tiniest little button. You can see holes in that. I thought it was like a stud, but I'm, sh I'm sure that's like a little button. Yeah, look. Did I see? I'm sure I saw holes in that. Can you see I'll clean it up later, and we'll have a look at it. Onwards! Look at this field, that was right down there. Comes all the way up here. Look at the size of it. More land than you can go in in about 18 months. Just one field. Look at it. On and on and on. And then right down there it goes. There's got to be some more stuff here. And I want to find it. 
Look at it, it's starting to freeze solid. I'll have to be careful about when I'm going. But I've uh, got another signal here, 17. Quite deep. In there. Look at this. <laughs> oh, will you ever get fed up with finding musket balls like that? No, is the answer. Look at that beast. What an absolute corker. Oh, that is a super little find. Keep it going, Nigel. We're going back to where we find them coins before before sort of making me way to the car. I don't think light's going to last too much longer. But uh, what a field and what a dig. Really enjoying this. Next signal, light is fading now. Look, look at that. Look at that. Signs of occupation, isn't it? I don't think... I don't think it's silver, but uh, I'll take it back and just clean it up, just to check. But I don't think the number is a silver number. Just going to try around here because obviously there's a gate onto the field, so uh, it might be worth just scouting around here before I go back. Next signal, an 18. Sounded quite round, and it actually is. And it's my first button of the dig. I was wondering why I hadn't found any buttons. Nice little condition one. I'll clean it up later. See if there's any detail on it. Nice. I think it's a button. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Yeah. There you are. Nice one. Nice one. Up and down this brow a few times and I think I'm calling it a day. Buzzing. Buzzing. I think Nigel's got me another coin to finish with. 21, 22. Solid signal. Somewhere. Somewhere in there. <gasps> Look. Oh. Oh. I think it is a coin. But it looks a little bit bent and a little bit... um. Destroyed, I think. I think it's a coin, though. We shall clean that up, and I'll be um, right back to check. Back, I'm back, but I think it's a bit of a roasty toasty. A coin, but it's a roasty toasty. So it's an olden. And I was cert when I got two coins before, it was around there, and look, there's a gate. And what I didn't notice. There's another one there, and this these three coins have been all on that alignment, so I think I'll just go up and down this line a couple of times, just to see if there's anything, any other signals. Another signal on the same alignment, and I think Nigel's done it for me again, you know. Oh. 16, it was quite shallow. Now you, I never have a great deal of expectation from a 16, but look, we have a coin, it's a definite coin. And there is good old Rural Britannia. Very nice. And who is the monarch? Who is the monarch? It's a good old... Oh, oh yes! It's Queen Victoria. Oh, is it a veil head? I think it's a widow head, you know. Is it? Is it? Is it? I think it is. I jolly well think it is. What's the date? Is that a 1901? Oh, oh, absolutely stonking. If that's the last coin to finish the dig off, that is a cracker in my book. I'll carry on with this alignment before going back. I just got another signal for me on the way back. 21, shallow. Look, look. It looks coinish to me. That's very, very, very coin-like. I think it looks a bit toasted. Might be able to get something off it. I'll clean it up. I'll be right back. OK, I'm back. I've cleaned it up on one side. The other side, I'm going to do that carefully when I get home. But there is something on the other side. And it's nice. It's nice. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Can you see that? That's like a castle, and it's got a date of 1797 on the bottom. That's got to be some sort of trade token, hasn't it? What an absolute stonking find. 
I'm buzzing with that. Can you see that? Yeah. Look at that. I will clean that up when I get home. But that is an absolute beauty. Nigel, you've done me proud today. It's been a good, fun dig. I'll follow this line up here just in case. You never know, do you? Well, that's the end of the dig for me. What a day that was. I was That was really enjoyable. Beautiful still air. In the, in the winter, you don't want it rain, raining and you don't want it windy. Um, I got both of them today. A uh, little bit of a snow shower at the start, but we won't mention that. Anyway, on to me finds. I've done all right. I have done very well. Um, two musket balls, at least. Uh, a spindle wall. Two old half pennies. One of which I think is a Vicky. I think it's a Vale Ed. Um, a Victoria... 1862 penny in superb condition. I think that's the best quality one I've ever found. And two cracking old coins. A George the Third. Again, without doubt, the best quality one I've ever found. And right at the end there, um, I think it's a 1797 trade token. So, all in all, a good dig. So, um, I will see you next time. This is the end of Carry On Searching for today.